And here we go. Uh, it is time to go back to rural Europe, not Spain. It is not Spain. It is rural Europe. Uh, Leon S. Kennedy, that's Mr. Kennedy, if you're feeling nasty. Capcom just dropped the, the chainsaw demo. So, you know, why, why, don't I, why don't I shoot some ganados? Why don't I save dogs? Hopefully, hopefully we can save them. Little cute Huey. Oh, I miss him so. I'm pressing the start button now. <laughs> oh, no Resident Evil noise. That is a nice spooky background, though. I like that. Very foreboding. Uh, play through the main story and experience the nightmare. Let's do that. Let's start a new nightmare. So if this is regular Resident Evil 4, it would start with uh, 1998. September 30th, 1998. Ooh, pretty close. It's a day I'll never forget. <laughs> Frolicking on the beach with children. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out. Thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Thanks, Umbrella. Somehow I made it out. But too many others... <laughs> So lucky. Yeah, not really with the nuke. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Hmm. Not that I had a choice. Interesting. The training. Punishing missions. Nearly killed me. Krauser! At least I kept my mind off everything. Let off some steam, Leon. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Oh, Brana. The other guy. This time. It can be different. Ada, no. I like that. Has to. I like that added line with uh, the punishing missions. Just gives a little bit more context. Just Leon went from bumbling himbo to like super soldier. It has been six years since Leon S. Kennedy survived the raccoon incident. An unprecedented biological catastrophe caused by the Umbrella Corporation. It also made stonks go down. Having distinguished himself as a U.S. special agent, he is tasked with locating the president's missing daughter. The search has brought him to an isolated village in Europe. Europe? We don't know where. Where intel suggests that the kidnapped girl was last sighted. Even Leon's past trauma cannot prepare him for the nightmare. The insanity he would find there. Oh, wow. We're just dropped in. Okay. Ooh, this look real good. This look real nice. See what's taking so long. Okay, we've clearly chopped out a cutscene. Oh man, this looks so dope. Shit. Well, again, regular Resident Evil 4. There should be something behind us. Policia. Huh. So it looks like more or less we crashed, maybe. And then the, the two police escorts that Leon usually starts off with, they went out to go check things out. Because objective says, what's taking so long? So can I go around here? No, I can't. It's some type of invisible force. Oh, crouch. Yes, yes. The last trailer kind of indicated um, some stealth, basic stealth elements. We'll see how that plays out. But when I first heard about that, I was like, yeah. And then I thought about it, I was like, no. Um, I've been playing regular Resident Evil 4, vanilla Resi 4 lately. And there are situations you wish you could approach with a bit more stealth than, than not at all. You can't 100% do it a lot of the times, but hopefully the actual crouch. Because you can get really close to enemies, but they, they almost always kind of get up and, and notice that you're there just by your footsteps. So that's cool. Ooh, can we hear that? That crow noise? Oh, there they are. I see them. Oh my god, I think that's the exact same crow noise from the game. From a vanilla version. That's a weird statue. Those are big, fat, chonky, like Japanese crows. Oh, and Liam has been to Japan. He's like, I don't, I don't mess with the crows when I've been there. He's going to have to live there, live with them, knowing, watching, always watching. Okay, run. Holy shit, that's fast. So I have a gun in my holster. I cannot take it out yet. So I guess How far could he have gone? tutorials would have to say. I, so I guess how far could he have gone? So I guess there's might there might be only one police escort. Oh, man. 
I really wish I had a flash grenade to take care of these jerks. Someone forced their way through here. So the other interesting thing, we're starting off clearly at night, or at least like way, like very, very early in the morning, which is a, is a difference. I don't know how much I like that. Ew. Stinky pooey. I wish you would say something. Again, this is a demo. Who knows? But if you're going to let me zoom in on a texture, give one little sentence. Maybe even a, a sign of disgust from Leon. Maybe he could puke. I don't know. Oh, God. It's kind of reminded me a little bit of the bit of the forest you have to trek through at the start of village. Ouch. These bushes have prickers. All right, probably crouch on that. Oh, yeah, I was I was doing it. Cool. So this is the first cabin. I, I know we, we've probably all seen a little bit of footage from this part of the game. It's it's much more elaborate looking from the outside. So it's simultaneously not very Resident Evil like to just highlight the one thing in an entire room you can actually interact with. To be fair though, RE4 really dialed that back to begin with. Nope. Still can't use my weapon. I guess I'm gonna have to, to have the encounter with the first villager before that uh, occurs. Oh, what's this? Some type of uh, glory hole. Anyone? Anyone anywhere? Nothing? It's, per it's pretty large. If it was a glory hole, it'd be pretty big. Maybe El Gigante could fit in there, but not me. <laughs> certainly, certainly not me. Hey, what's this? Oh. Uh, sick. Sesicria el, el Juicio? Crew Charm, Judgment is Nigh. Okay, Judgment is Nigh. Good. Obtain File, what's that? Can't do anything. Okay, no buttons do anything but that uh, start menu. I can't even access my items. So again, probably something that's being hidden behind a tutorial. Very friendly looking door. Big, big, big buddy energy coming off this. <laughs> yeah, big increase in like uh, animal skulls in this game. Uh, this remake. Where there's that new enemy, that big bruiser enemy type that has like a cow skull or a honey badger skull on his head. It's interesting. Something new. It's not it, it feels in place with the game all right here we go okay no one's there great oh. <laughs> that was cool uh, sorry to barge in like this Oh, that's a nice touch. Uh, it's going to be the picture of Ashley, maybe? Nope. Oh. Must be the uh, police bodyguard. Oh, shit. Knife Barry! Damn! Ain't that a kick in the head? It's because he kicked him in the head. Anyway. He's not a zombie. Not this is not good. Hunter's Lodge key. It must be that other door that we saw. He's not a zombie. No? No? Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. So this is the knife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. 
so I want to know how to parry. Just holding it is like that, but maybe if I just tap it, that's the parry. Ooh, what's Mama making? Man, that stinks. And uh, give it a try. You never know. See, so yeah, that, that man, that stinks. That would have been fine when we looked at the uh, ooh, bunny. It's, it's hanging all inside out. Oh, yeah, it's the police side police card or whatever. Uh, National Police Police Corps, Mario Fernandez Castano. Police officer. Okay. Ooh, obtain file. There we go. Now this is all open. The map, have you become lost? Key items. Montreal's basement. There you go. Ah. Ah, feels so good to be back in here, baby. Let's have a party inside my attache case. Uh, weapon suited for close encounters. It has been Leon's go to since receiving it during his time at the RPD. Aw, oh, Knife Chan. A custom handgun made for Leon while keeping the basic design of the MUP or the MUP. Its parts were carefully chosen and machined to improve in performance. And this is bullshit magic spray. That's stupid. So, from what I can understand from reading up on this online, I was like, Ugh, what is this? It's just, they're just calling crafting combining items. So it's not really a crafting thing. It's a little bit like it, but it's, it's just, yeah. Like all these herb mixes, that's it. So I think on the main menu, from what I saw... Uh, when you have like two different herbs or, or whatever, it just says instead of combine, it just says craft. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Ammo, shotgun shells. Well, that's, that's cool. I could just potentially do that if I had the materials. Oh, okay. So everything is mission brief. Oh, what's this? Uh, retrieve the kidnapped individual. Subject, Ashley Graham, age 20. Daughter of U.S. President, university student. See photo for physical appearance. And she looks like Blossom. Contact was suddenly lost with the subject as she made her way home from campus. Soon after, she, along with her ex-military bodyguards, were reported missing. Damn. That's a nice little detail. Like, she actually had bodyguards and they still nabbed her. Upon further investigation, it was determined that she was kidnapped by an organized group and a team was convened. So it's like, I, did they look like villagers, like from this rural Europe village with like red crazy eyes and they're, you know, moaning like zombies? And the, the bodyguards, they just, they, they weren't able to take care of them. Our intelligence department has confirmed several sightings in the, of the subject in a remote village located in the mountainous region of Europe. Our agent was specifically chosen for the task. One agent. Uh, we confirmed to, uh, that the perpetrators received help from an insider to prevent leaks. This operation we kept strictly confidential. Local law enforcement has been brought on board to and are providing assistance. So Leon's the only one that knows about this op. And Hunnigan, I guess. And Mike. And the local police. And probably the president. It stands to reason the president would be aware. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there's two little ni uh, different knife strikes there, I just noticed. There's more of like a poke and there's more of like a slash, I guess. Let's get a good look at Leon now. He's so, he's so, so handsome. A handsome boy. Yeah, I think his shoulders could be a bit more broader. I think they probably kept this model close to the RE2 remake model, but... Alright, there's that creepy sex hole I was looking through earlier. Anyway, I got the key. So let us press on. So here's our first puzzle. It involves putting a key inside a keyhole. I could use a flashlight, thank you. Ah, eh, I miss lapel light. But this is fine. Just close that on some. You really think about the craftsmanship, the work, the uh, the passion for aesthetic that went into uh, sections like this. Like you have to admire the villagers; they could sell this stuff. Yeah, th there being a whole basement section of the first cabin in the game is crazy. Ooh, ready, friend! What a baby. 
Oh, where did you go? Find you. <laughs> Imagine if Lena actually talks stupid like that. <laughs> Hunnigan's listening in. She's like, what the fuck is happening? This is the guy that we sent? Uh, I wish you could translate this. M M La Lopre Sempre. I have no idea. Can't even tell what this is. That's good. It's good that I don't know. I guess it's a horse. Who knows? Nothing here. All right. Well, let's let's see what this noise is. Leon's like someone unalive, Tim. I read you. What's your situation? Speak in Spanish, Leon, please. Okay. Why didn't he understand me? Oh, app updated. Escape from the lodge that I'm in. Now, now we have gun. Now we are gunman. Anything else to, to grab? Anything else change? Might as well see if these are breakable. They are not. Leon's like, where's Ashley? <clears throat> what was that? I did hear what sounded like a... Oh, shit. Uh. Yeah, okay. It just keeps getting worse. Sure does. Oh! It's gonna get worse for him! Uh. Certainly a little bit more tougher. I'm surprised he didn't go down with, uh, at least by the second knee shot. Maybe they kind of up that. Oh, shit. Go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, shit. I didn't see that guy there. Oh, God. That, that was it for ammo. You guys not going to give up any ammo? No one's dropped anything yet. Whew. Oh, ah, that's that stupid oh, whatever it is. Christ. Okay. So yeah, they they burst out of this door, I guess. This was closed before. God, there's a hole upstairs too. Ah. Uh, the green dragon. Leon's like, I don't need to smoke a lot of this before the end of this mission. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if that's an old RE4 piece. It kind of looks like it. Okay, well. Yeah, I have no ammo. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be some in this next room. Here's our entire plan. I want to take over the world. By Osmond Sadler. Bruce. This is Condor 1. Go, Hunnigan Condor 1. Yeah, Hunnigan's so cute. Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Interesting. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. So there were two. Oh shit. Alright, it's popping off, ladies. And I got like. Let myself out. 
What a, what an actual cool line for escaping like a coward. Oh, that was a good line. Yeah, I knew it. Nailed it. Awesome. And you know, sometimes sometimes you have to know. Sometimes you have to know when to fold them. Know when to close them. All right, it's kind of getting more light out, which is interesting, I think. Ugh, this is like every day in Montreal for like the last four months. I'm so sick of it. This seems promising. So, can I possibly sneak up on this gigant, giant crow? It is so big. I'm going to stealth kill the fuck out of this. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't think I could have done any better. I'm going to stealth kill this barrel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what we need. We can at least uh, look at a uh, reloading animation. Very nice. Can literally hear you guys. You're real gross. Okay. Ooh. Well, it's a demo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I doubt they'd let you save. Uh. Gunpowder. Well, let's investigate that now. I doubt I can actually do it. Uh, gunpowder. Salmon. But I need to mix this with something, right? It's not just going to... No, I need five of them and a blue bag. I don't know what that is. Coil. Pieces of metal. What was that? What was that noise? Literally, what was that noise? Oh, bastards. Okay, nobody heard. Uh, guys heard. Oh, pesetas. Nice. Oh, it stinks. So big stink everywhere. No! So a lot of people are saying this is the dog. I don't think so. It's a goddamn wolf. It's got different fur. Like... I think this is just like a little joke or something. The real dog. No, no game developer would do this. That that's my thought process. It's it's a fake out. Oh, good, good, good. Nice. Okay, I'm crouching. I'm crouching. I'm doing it. It's that sounds so close. Oh, I see a guy moving. There he is. Oh, he just heard me regardless. Oh shit. Oh Melee Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Feeling good about that. 
Does it, it? I mean, because the aiming is like you know very different. You can fucking move. Well, you, you there's something about it that's still kind of re feeling uh, the way it handles re four. I want to say sorry specifically. Very cool. I'm satisfied with that. I don't know. I like this truck, and it's definitely gotten more light now. Now, now the forest and it's. It has that same color palette that, that is just so distinctly RE4 for me. Oh crap, are you serious? Oh! Yo! Get fucked. Okay, so it's one of these cabins in the earlier sections of the, the base game. I see someone moving already. Okay, so yeah, there's someone in there. I'll just get ready to stab. You got this! Yeah! Oh, get fucked, sir! Sorry, I had to do I own you so hard. <laughs> I'm always wary of that in the main game. Uh, the, sorry, the original release. There's always like one or two cabins where there's someone just around the side. I'm not sure it's supposed to be the cabin with the um, lady with the pitchfork in her head. I think this one is before that. I and, and it's clear they're they're putting different assets and different structures and things around here. It's not going to be one to one. But I'm glad they put that in because that's just very, you know, Resident Evil Four to me. I don't think uh, they want strangers in here. Yeah. No, nope. it's funny. There should be some pesetas in here. No. Okay. Actually, no. The village is literally coming up. So let us look at items again. There you go, crafting. Certain uh, materials such as resources, gunpowder, knives can be used to craft. Yeah, you can get different types of knives in this. Because this has like, uh, it has like a, a durability bar, which is crazy to me. So, so yeah, let's craft up with the green and the, and the red. Oh, funny. It's 25. Uh, well, actually more than that. Like 31 shots. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh, I thought that was like a PS5 controller prompt over there. It's just, it's, it's just binoculars. Look at this event. Oh, we actually get to see uh, him get lit up. Shit. So used to him already. Uh, the, far, uh, the party have already been started. Once we get here. Good stuff. Wait, is this chicken? Did you see that and you did not help that man? I mean, actually, ooh, it has the side path. I was going to say, actually, um, I, I didn't help her. So yeah, can I actually sell? So this is one of those sections I, I, I was kind of alluding to before. Where you can get pretty far here. Yeah, there's a lady working down there. You can get pretty far, but she always knows you're there right before you get too close. So hopefully we can stealth kill her. Hopefully. Yeah! London's calling. Leon's like, that was cool. Metal scrap. Okay. So can I actually do that now? Metal scrap and what? Five. Yes, I can. So let's do that. Craft. Handgun. Ooh. Have I waited for more gunpowder? You know, th this demo can't be much. It can't be more than the village. It has to be something like thirty minutes at most to 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 finish it. 
I should probably. Anybody around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I re I, I'm liking this addition uh, of stealth in there. I actually feel like I have a chance. That does, okay. That's it. Some upside down animals. That's it. All right. I kind of want shotgun right away. It should be this structure right in front of me. Just trying to debate the best way to do this. I don't think I can quietly vault in here. It's probably not possible. <laughs> So I have what? One flash grenade, one regular grenade. And let's just let's just go nuts. Go. Oh! Fight them. Oh shit, that was sick. Oh, oh, I saw this in a trailer. Yeah! Build me for the repairs. It's so stupid. All right, let's 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 shake a leg, huh? How about we go in here? How about we do that? Yep, activates the cutscene. Nice. Look through the window. Yeah, there he is. So, we want shot. You gotta be kidding me. Son of a. Say son of a. No, he's not gonna do it. How much time do I realistically have? I don't know. There might be items down there. Let's just get the shotgun. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Love that for me. Shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh god, oh god. So, what is... Yeah, that's. this is what I want. This is what I want. Where is Chainsaw? Present for you. Oh, it did not come down. Good, good, good. I wasn't sure. Oh, there's so many more people! Ugh! Ah! Ah! Can I kill him? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I got brown chicken egg. Oh, shit. <laughs> Pick up all this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, oh. You're shitting me. They are not shitting you. No more shotgun, unfortunately. Okay, you know what, lady? All right. Gonna have to... Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, fantastic. That's for all. Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> oh! Get off me! Oh my god! Oh, the uh, the the tower thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. There should be a flame grenade up here. No, there's a nothing grenade. Whoa! What the fuck? Ugh. Okay, what is this path? I don't even know this area. Oh shit. Uh, uh. 
kind of running out of resources. I don't know how many I... Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Oh. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Oh. That was so close. Oh shit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way. Whew. It is getting dicey out there, folks. Oh, please don't let this be a dead end. It's a fucking dead end, isn't it? Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Ugh. Let's just... No, I can't even do that. Oh, damn. Oh, gee. Is that the bell? Am I saved by the bell? Oh, it's cool that it's in gameplay. I wonder if he's gonna save say the line. I don't know yet for sure. It's a great shot. Come on. Maybe not. He should have said it by now. Hmm. I assume this is where the demo's gonna end. Say the line, Bart. Where's everyone going? Bingo. Yay! Yay! Good stuff. If you keep anything, you keep that. Ooh, 50, 5,550 uh, pesetas. Not bad, not bad. Uh, that was great, actually. I'm gonna say not bad, not bad. Just all the stuff you kind of sort of expect, just a few new things layered on top. Um, yeah, I I was really, really eh about Resident Evil 4 being remade when when Capcom made that official. I was like, you can you can remake some other games before you get there too. And by then there might be another generation that's gone by, or at least a, f a few more years into this one, uh, where where that was really needed because I still kind of felt with all the the versions of Resident Evil 4 that you can play on, especially the Ultimate Edition, the Ultimate Texture upgrade, I should say, on PC. Um, I was like, ah, I'm not so sure, but that played great, I, I have to say. And that's just such a small sampling of the main game. I still have to assume there's going to be some cut out, some giant areas cut out, you know? I, I just don't think they can get everything in there, but maybe they'll pull this off. No, thank you for for fighting, Leon. Not for me for playing. And thank you for Ashley for being for being so cute. This is Resident Evil 4, the chainsaw demo. Uh, because it's called that, it's got that name. I assume there might be another demo down down the line, maybe like a week before the game's launch. But yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. And until then, don't let your right hands come off.